So Ashuta, thank you for taking the time to speak with me and giving a wonderful TED talk. Yeah. Um, it was very interesting to hear how you got science and light coming together. And can you just tell us a little bit about what you talked about today? Yeah, so I talked broadly about uh, you know, how we can deal with the millions of light rays, billions of pixels that we have in our cameras today. But the specific nature of the talk today was about LiDAR, light detection and ranging, and how we can create new types of 3D camera systems that can go on self-driving cars and much more. Yeah, you spoke about how your team's developing a heterodyne LiDAR. Can you tell us more about the heterodyne theory? Yeah, that's great. So the heterodyne principle is one that's a very classic topic in electrical engineering. But uh, it can be illustrated best per perhaps with an abstraction. So imagine that you were to listen to sound waves. So imagine that some were, someone were to play like a note at 440 hertz, right? one of the piano notes. But then they were to play another note at the same time that was maybe 442 hertz. Mm -hmm. In that case, you would hear a beat frequency, a 2 hertz frequency. And so the heterodyne principle is trying to take advantage of the information in this beat frequency. And the beat frequency, which is much lower than 440 hertz in this case, uh, is easier to sense and therefore easier to extract the information from. Great. Now, with the heterodyne LiDAR, an improvement of the current LiDAR, um, what, what could that lead to? What, what are the potential benefits or outcomes of this improved system? Yeah, so right now we're exploring, for example, scattering. So today, one of the big problems, one of the holy grail problems in imaging is how we can see inside the body. Now, of course, you can use x-rays to do that, and it works very well. But the problem is x-rays are very dangerous to the human body. In fact, 2% of all cancers, it's estimated, are caused by x-ray radiation from medical procedures. And so if you could see inside the body for certain tasks with visible light imaging, then that would open up a, a whole new type of clinical practice, for example, where you could do frequent screenings and so on and so forth. And so to answer your question, we're looking at how we can maybe use LIDAR in the context of imaging through skin. Great. Um, you also mentioned how this has a possible application with AR or VR. Is that something you could speak to? Yeah, so uh, people often don't realize, but AR and VR are sometimes among the most complicated imaging devices out there. So I remember when the HoloLens came out, uh, they did a teardown of the device, and there were like um, you know six or eight cameras in there, and not just regular cameras, you know, 3D cameras, 2D cameras, looking in different directions, and so on and so forth. And so uh, in a VR device, it's very important to have good image sensing because you want to capture the world around you and then transmit that to someone else. So for example, if you're trying to Skype with your grandmother, you want to, you know, if I were to Skype this interview to my grandmother, I would want to capture you in high fidelity and then transmit you there. Um, and so the heterodyne LiDAR principle can acquire very detailed scans of people and faces and things like that. And maybe that's uh, something that could you know, impact VR and AR. Great. Now, if there was one thing that you wanted the audience to take away from your presentation today, what would that be? I think it's really the beauty and the aesthetics of light and light transport. Um, light is one of the most uh, beautiful constructs. And it's very interesting that the human eye is sensitive to less than one trillionth of all the possibilities of light. So that's probably the takeaway. Light's beautiful, but we can only see one trillionth of what it is. Great. Well, Ashuta, thanks for taking the time to talk to me, and thank you. Thank you.